Hello everyone. It is Saturday, September 29th, Zone 7, northeast of Atlanta. And time to get some pansies in the ground. Um, as you can see, I cleaned this bed out last week. Got, all the, got as many of the weeds out as I could, pulled the old plants out. Uh, put in about five wheelbarrow full of compost and then covered the whole thing in getting to be pretty well rotted wood chips. There's what's left of my wood chip mound. So this is ready. Went to the nursery yesterday, went to a, a little local private nursery, small business nursery and got two wonderful flats of pansies. $8 a flat, they're the finest I've seen and they're kind of like the old Mickey Mouse. Those are my absolute favorite pansies, is the old yellow ones with the real dark centers. Uh, used to call them Mickey Mouse, but I haven't actually seen those for years. But we're going to plant them over here. And then this area over here is starting to get pretty ratty looking. The uh, blue salvia is getting tired. The lantana is still spreading all over the place, but this bed's going to need some color. And in our zone, pansies right now will... will They'll root, they'll grow a little bit in the fall. They'll kind of sit there through the winter. Uh, and then in the spring they will just explode and they'll be like three feet across in each plant. And uh, people stop driving by going, wow, where did you get those pansies? And it's like, well, first I bought them last year. So let's go, we'll get started on this. I'll show you what comes up next. Here's the two flats of pansies that I bought. And the first thing I want to do is give these things a really good watering. I would like as much of the soil as possible to come out of the pot with the pansies. And considering that we're still up in the 80s, uh, there's no rain forecast for the next six days. These guys will need every help they can get as far as plenty of water. So if we can get as much of this root ball mixed in with them, I think that'll give them a better start. Now while the pansies are soaking, next thing I'm going to do is take the rake and kind of pick out the spots where I want to plant them. I pull the mulch back. I want a big enough area that I can dig the hole and pile the dirt up without messing the mulch up. So I'm going to put one there. This is a big enough area here for a couple. We're going to keep doing this all the way down the row. Now that I have all the places scraped out, I'm going to come back with a hoe and loosen up the soil so I can plant them with a trowel. Okay, as you can see, I've gone through, dug up all the holes, so I got the soil loosened. Some of these had compacted so badly in just a week, week and a half, I had to get the shovel out and, and re-dig the holes. So you see I've done that all the way down. Now the next step, this little tub here has a basic uh, organic fertilizer in it. You, know, you buy that, I get, a, I think, a 20-pound bag or 18-pound bag or whatever. But you can buy small ones that are around $10 for the small bag and about $20, $25 for the larger one. And I'm going to go through and give each of these holes some fertilizer. I'm going to do it in each hole. This is, of course, being organic means it's a slow release, so... I'm not worried about anything burning, and I'm not worried about the first rain washing it away, because it is a granular, and it'll be there for a while. 
So these pansies will have plenty of food when they're ready for it. Now then, at this point, I'm finally ready to get in here and start planting. As you can see, soaking got the root balls nice and tight. So. I'm going to lay the plants out. Then I get one last look at the spacing. And I'll continue that all the way down. Now what's left is to come through and do the actual planting. Mix in the fertilizer. Put in the plant. Pull over the mulch. Give everything a good tuck. On to the next one. Same process over and over again. Mix the soil up. Plant, pull the soil in, pull in the mulch, on to the next one. We'll continue that all the way down the row. All right, I've got them all planted in the dirt, got the mulch pulled back up. Everybody's looking pretty neat. I'll probably come back tonight and deadhead most of these large flowers off just to take the pressure off and in a little bit I'll give them a good watering but before I do that I've got two more beds to do just like this and you've watched me do one so I'll get to work on the other two and uh, this is how I plant pansies I do it this way every year it's worked every year uh, you can see some of my spring videos. You'll see how pretty the pansies are in the front yard. Uh, the key is, is that the soil here, where we are, is just hard pan and hard clay. You've got to use a lot of mulch. you got to chop it up good. And your plants will flourish. So, if you like this, subscribe. Click the like button. Click the little bell or whatever it is so you get notifications when new ones come up. And I'll try and keep showing you how I get things planted here in the southeast where it's just so dang hot. Thank you for watching. Time for me to get back to work.